Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. We're going to do a general love reading for you and your person, the person that's on your mind. All right, we're going to see what energy they in when they around you. We're going to use the Magic Marvel deck to collect that energy. Remember, take it how it resonates for you. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. You can stick around to the end. Oh, there may be something that becomes relevant for you. But if not, you can carry on to the next video, respectfully. Thank you. All right, Pisces. Let's see. What energy is your person in when they get around you? Okay, we got hawk eye, ready, steady, go. Very focused. Okay, a Sagittarius energy, the energy of hitting the target, Cupid's arrow, love, you know, paying attention, watching, okay? So, you have their undivided attention, okay? And we also have Misty Knight. Are you sure it's answers you want? Okay, so this person could tell you exactly what it is, but do you really want to know? Okay, so, mm, I don't know. All right, next we have Iron Man. What you see, what are you really protecting? Okay, so this is like guarded, you know, I'm made of steel, I'm guarded, but I'm open. I want to tell you, but I don't tell you. Like, you know, it's more of a kind of uncertainty. But the only thing is, is certain is that I have emotions, I watch you, I pay attention to you. I'm ready for whatever's to come. I just don't know how to say it or I don't know how to express it. So I hold it in. It's like any other person could be like, well, well, it's something like missing or something's going on or you feel something's not connecting right. And it's just because somebody's holding in what they feel. Truth. Okay. And last but not least, we have Captain Marvel. Seize the day. I say a Marvel. Marvel. Seize the day, right? So this is like take action, get what you want, have success, do it in the right way, you know, things of that sort. What's crossing everything is Dr. Doom, control at all costs. So this could be a manipulation tactic, okay, um, to love bomb you and then withdraw from you, to come in and, um, you know, get you all in your fields and then ghost a little bit. You know, so be careful with this energy. It could be a good thing, but it could also be a manipulation tactic. So it could really literally be somebody who don't know how to express themselves and come to you and tell you all these things they got going on with them. This could also be somebody who isn't sure you're going to accept the real them. So it's like if it's something you really want to know, are you sure that's what you looking for? Are you, you sure you really want to know? Like um, you, they, they may feel like you may not accept all of them. So they protect themselves and only give up so much. But it's like when they with you, they want to seize the day. They want to win. It's exciting. It's good. It's flowing. But the overall energy was crossing is Dr. Doom. Control at all costs. This person could be a master manipulator. Okay. So that's the energy they in when they're around you, Pisces. Let's hop into this reading. Let's see what's going on. We're going to be using the DC deck just to keep the uh, Marvel theme going, I guess. So what is the energy of Pisces person? Okay. How do they interact with each other? What's going on? We got the page of swords. Okay. This is somebody who wants to speak to you. Definitely. Who, who needs to make a decision. Okay. The queen of wands. Somebody who holds a lot of in, but when you, but like you see great potential in them. Like, it's like, I want to know, I want to, I want to, um, I want to see what you really have to offer. I want you to open up. Okay. Something about being honest. Okay. The six of wands. Okay. This is all about success. This is all about recognition. This is about pursuing something or someone. It's about winning. Okay. So. Okay, let's get the last card. The Ten of Swords. Okay, this is an ending of some sort. Possibly for something else to come through. 
But um, with the Ten of Swords, there's been uh, a lot of lack here. There's been some hurt, some turmoil, some disagreements, you know, some shystiness, some overthinking, some sleepless nights. You know, it's been a lot going on within this situation. And certain parts of this is coming to an end. New things are happening in this situation. Okay, what's crossing everything? And it's the Six of Swords. Okay, yes, this and this is about moving forward more peacefully. Okay, so Pisces, I'm getting somebody has made a decision and they're ready to open up and express that to you. They've held it back for a long time, but I see them wanting the victory. I see them watching you study you. They done studied you and they recognize who you are and what you mean to them. And they want to have some form of victory out of this. So this could be somebody who kind of like stopping the shenanigans. We're going we gonna to end the nonsense around this situation so I could bring about something better or some form of new beginning so we can move forward in a more peaceful way. Okay, so let's talk to this page of swords. What is this page of swords for Pisces person? And it's the six of pentacles. This person wants to give you something. Okay, they want to bring this situation into balance, right? But they want, I see them making an offering. I see them adding to the stability that you already have or the fortune that you already have. I see this really working out. So this person may be deciding to tell you what they want to do, like literally break it down to you about what they have to offer, what they're willing to give, how they can add to your stability, your joy, your happiness, you know, so it's, it's, it's them deciding to do something, deciding to pamper you, deciding to gift you something, deciding, okay? This is a decision that they've made that they want to speak on. I see the chariot, okay? I'm going to go ahead and take it and also the five of swords, okay? The chariot and the five of swords, okay? everybody may not be on the same page here. Somebody's confident in moving forward in this situation and they want to go ahead and do it rather quickly. And there's somebody that just feels broken who feels like, okay, um, this, this, I don't agree with how fast you want to move. I feel like somebody wants to take it slower. Okay. Somebody's just ready to go all in. Somebody's kind of, like I said, uh, shielded. What are you protecting? What are you hiding? What's the problem? Why you ain't opening up? Why you ain't speaking? Why, why, what, why we can't move forward? Okay. So somebody wants to move forward and somebody's just not on board with that for whatever reason. Okay. Why is the other person not on board with moving forward at this time? Why is the other person not on board with moving forward at this time? Oh, and we got the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, and this is definitely like this person wants to come up with a plan. Like, and I'm surprised that the Knight of Pentacles is in a green situation. For me, it represents the heart chakra. So this person is taking their time with their heart. They're not willing to rush into relationships and move all fast. This is somebody who wants to make plans, which I feel like the other person is trying to plan something and they may feel like they have to give you something to 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 balance you out you know they have to meet your expectation but with this knight of pentacles the other person is just like you know i want to take my time with my heart i want to make plans and i, I just want to go slower you know we don't have to move so fast okay so somebody doesn't want to be rushed to make a decision about being with you or vice versa okay so we got the queen of wands and she's just sitting up on her throne. You know, she holds a lot of things in just because she doesn't speak on what's going on. It doesn't mean she doesn't know what's going on. OK, the queen of Pen the queen of wands. I don't know why I want to say the queen of pentacles. OK, that's somebody who really values you, who really feel like you're worth the fight. You're worth putting in the effort for. OK, but this queen of wands, she 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 just, you know, just because she doesn't speak on the situation doesn't mean she doesn't know about what's going on, okay? 
she's the type that will get in the dirt with you. She'll play these same games you play. But in the end, her goal is to win, to come out on top. Okay, so this is somebody who doesn't want another failed relationship. And they paying attention to everything you say, everything you do. You know, so let's talk to her. This Queen of Pentacles come with the High Priestess. Yes, yeah, she's definitely operating from her higher self. She's not operating off of logic. She's operating off of what she feels, you know. So she's someone who's very in tune with herself. She knows who she is. She knows what she wants, okay? So what is she feeling? What is this Queen of Wands feeling right now for this situation? When it comes to the high priestess. Okay. And it's strange because it's the eight of wands. Okay. So she, she prioritizing things. Okay. She moving on priorities right now. Okay. She's, she has a lot going on in her life and she's taking action on what means the most to her. Okay. And for, and for some reason, I'm starting to feel like the relationship is not at the top of her list. Not that she's not passionate or wants to create a life with somebody it's just that she has more important things to do with herself she's working on her right now and she doesn't mind dating she doesn't mind conversation she doesn't mind building and creating with somebody she's just not uh willing to put that at the front of the line she's prioritizing her life and a relationship falls somewhere in there but it's not her main priority Okay, so we got the six of wands. It's about recognition, praising, uh, catering to someone or just, you know, obsessing over them, clinging to them, um, happy for them. Okay, so happy with them. Okay, um, so this six of wands is just about having some form of success, winning at all costs. Okay. I don't know why these cards want to keep flying on the floor. So with the six of wands, we got the four of wands. Okay. So somebody wants a, su a successful foundation, a successful relationship. Somebody is definitely fighting to achieve a goal. And that's to win their person's heart. Okay. Um, to build a, something solid and strong with somebody. So whoever this person is, Pisces, whether it's you or them, somebody really wants to have success with this situation and, and really build something that's uh, strong enough to withstand the test of time. Okay. This is somebody who wanted locked in. Okay. And it's almost like a tic-tac-toe board. So if you play your hand right, you're going to get the prize. Okay. So it's just like, I feel like there's patience that needs to be required. Okay. Because somebody's Iron Man. Somebody's like, protecting themselves from uh failures heartbreak uh unnecessary bullshit let's just say it when it comes to dealing with people okay so you're dealing with somebody who ain't in a rush for commitment but they want a commitment but they have to work on themselves and they prioritizing things that are important in their life a relationship do fall in the midst of that but it's not their number one priority Okay, you also have somebody who's ready to speed this situation up, who's ready to move and go ahead and have success and start building. It's like, what are we waiting for? Okay, so let's see what else comes with this Six of Wands. And it's the Ace of Cups. Okay, this is somebody who wants to have success in this relationship built off of love. Built off what I feel in my heart. Okay. This is somebody who just wants unconditional love. And that's winning to them. A strong foundation. A secure partner. One who's creative. Who's recognized for their talents and abilities. One who's loving and caring and willing to share. Somebody feels like that's a strong enough foundation to build a relationship off of. Okay. Ten of Swords, the end of something is happening. Something new is beginning in this situation. Somebody wants to seize the day. Somebody wants to take home the prize, okay? And then we have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? 
Someone feel like this is what they're destined to. You're the person or they're the person that you're destined to be with. Okay. They feel like great things is going to come out of this and nothing would be able to ruin this. Okay. If we could just let go all of the baggage and all of the, the, the term oil from your past, whether it be with this person or personal issues, period. Whoever this queen of wands is, she has a lot of personal issues. She's probably put a lot of people before herself. And now she's prioritizing herself. And the moment she begins to prioritize herself and focus on her and, and do things that's important in her life, alone comes love. Okay? You manifested it, Pisces, whether it be you or your person. You manifested this love. And it's here. OK, and I feel like the challenge is how are you going to bring it into balance? If this is somebody you love or want to be with or can see a future with, feel happy with, there's a lot of success, not many red flags. I'm just operating off of things that other people did to me in the past. And I'm trying to heal from that and release that and let that go. And I think that's one reason why somebody don't want to rush. But this is here when the um, will of fortune came out. It's fate. It's destiny. It's meant to happen. It's everything is happening the way it's supposed to. This is a good person. This person serves a purpose in your life right now. I don't know if it's long term or just for now. But new things are happening. Somebody's seeing you different, viewing you different. And ready, okay? So ready to uh, make great things happen with you. So what else comes with the Ten of Swords? And it's the world, okay? Somebody ready to end the cycle of waiting and, and go ahead. It's like this, this, what I'm getting off the world is like we've been through a lot. We've been talking, dating, whatever this is for a while, right? And everything hasn't been great. I've been patient. I've been willing. I've been sacrificing. I've been showing up. I've been focused. I've been paying attention. And now I want to feel complete. I feel like you're the person who completes me. We've been through a lot together. And I'm sure you're the person that I want to be with. Take a chance with me. Let's let's bring an end to all the doubts and fears. And let's create a new world. A world that's full of uh, blessings and abundance and prosperity. Let's operate from the heart. I just keep seeing all this green. And it's like a swamp thing, right? Let's, let's just operate from the heart. Let's have a new beginning. Let's create a new world with each other. Okay. So what's crossing this energy, Pisces, is the moon, okay? Somebody may be operating out of fear. Somebody may not want everybody to know about this situation, but it's really calling you. Look how bright the moon is. It's, 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 it's definitely illuminating. It's definitely your intuition leading the way. So I feel like with this situation, it's important to be guided by your heart. Be guided by what you feel. Be guided by your intuition, whether it be you, Pisces, or your person, okay? So this is the energy. Let's get a message in love here, Pisces. Now, let's see what their true emotion is first, okay? Let's see what is this person's true emotion. Missing you. I miss you, okay? So this could be a situation. Like, I don't feel like it, it's a separation. I just feel like somebody wants more from you than what they're getting. Okay? Maybe you started off really heavy, really open, really love bombing, really like going in there and they miss that. It's like, you know, by somebody prioritizing something else, it's like you don't have a lot of time for me, even though you got time for me. I'm just missing you in certain ways, right? The parts of you that you closed off, the parts of you that you're protecting, the parts of you that you don't want me to know or whatever. I'm I'm missing that. That's what I feel like this I miss you is. Something in this connection is not literally connecting, okay? Because something is still hidden, okay? Somebody's not fully open or fully trusting, okay? So let's go ahead and get that message in love. From the universe, you know, for further guidance here. Okay, what's the message in love for Pisces and this person? Action. 
You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. So be open, be expressive, take action on um, speaking, you know, showing, showing up. Okay, it's just taking action. Now is the time to do something. Okay, so that's the energy Pisces. I hope it resonated. Let's get a message. Let's get a, a message from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the second chakra, and this is the sacral chakra, and this one is relevant to well-being. I honor and respect my body by giving it what it deserves to thrive. I provide myself with the best of foods, exercise, water, relaxation, therapeutic treatments, and thoughts. I only consume foods and liquids that were designed by nature to be in my body. I stimulate my body's energy flow with exercise. I make time to rest as stillness and tranquility are vital to keeping my mind and body rejuvenated. So well-being is the positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead. Hit that like or subscribe button, baby. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.